Jaws, when, when Jaws came out of that yeah. water and the people on the boat saw how big Jaws uh, big, was, yeah. and the guy said, you're going to need a bigger boat. You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Brave wind, they're going to need a bigger building. <laughs> yeah, they are, Jaws. M- Mr. Arthur Davis is going to have to get a contractor out there in 48 hours. Is, is it possible? Can it be done? I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. We'll see. But we'll be there, win or lose, Monday night. And uh, we'll take questions from the audience. It's a great turnout. We appreciate everyone coming out and all the great questions, great food, great fellowship, just a lot of fun. And we can um, win this half, win this game. It'll be even better on Monday night. All right, here we go as we get ready for the second half. And the Braves will get it to start. And here is the return. All the way out to the 30-yard line. So, the Braves have it first down and 10. Yvonne Morrison on the kickoff return. All right, Cedric Tillman, let's check in with you. Your thoughts in this 3-3 game. Kind of a defensive tussle as we get ready for the third quarter. That's top ball game, Charles. You know, we've got a new game, and let's come out the second half and get this offense rolling here. Well, we were down 35-7 to seven against New Mexico State and made a game of it. It's 3-3 three, three here. Let's see if the Braves on this option. And Noah to keep it. Noah just throws it to Noah. Uh, PJ, I'm sorry, Waller. I was so surprised that Noah Johnson even pitched it. Right. I think he wanted to avoid the negative loss of yards, so he just pitched it to Waller to see what he can do with it, and he actually lost a yard. So we're underway in this third quarter, second and eleven. This Jackson State team, I mean, don't sell them short defensively. They were the number one ranked defense last season. Their offense just didn't help them out. And it's kind of the same story this season. They're kind of down near the bottom of the pack, but offensively they've struggled. Here's no good pocket pocket. pass. High caught to Mars Johnson all the way across the field. Good catch. On senior day, a gain of 14. Good catch. First down. Yep, good catch. On Tavares Johnson on senior day. A first down catch, a gain of 14. All right, so the Braves on the march here. And here's Waller again. Waller, a good gain to the 49, a gain of six. Second down and four for the Braves. Just underway in this third quarter. Second down and four, Braves. Jackson State Territory at the 49 on second down. Here's Noah Baker, Johnson Baker, with the Baker, keeper Baker. Ooh, tripped up. Tripped up. A shoe yes. string tackle at the 43, string but it's good enough for the first. Yeah, it was. It was. But a shoe string tackle. Wow. Well, the Braves coming out of the locker room here, Cedric Tillman, making it happen so far. Hey, that's what we want to say. We want to get this offense rolling, Charles, and let's get some points in the end zone. That's it. That's it. All right, All right so have Juan Anthony lined up wide right with Harris. Braves in Jackson State territory at the 43 in this 3-3 game. Jackson State showing pressure. The Braves scan. I think for the third time, Mars Johnson wide left, two receivers right. First and 10 from the 43. And uh, just a straight handoff, dancing in the middle, and a good hard run to the 35-yard line, a gain of seven. Well, we talked about all year, Jay Miles, how Waller and P.J. Simmons, how Waller just really gets in there, yeah. mixes it up, doesn't worry about what's going to happen, just hard running. Oh, yeah, and, th- and that that was hard running. He was steady moving, steady moving, and moving the pile. So, uh, you know, we need that. We, go, we need a whole lot of Waller in the second half, Charles. Well, it looks like it's going to be Braves football just pounding the rock here on second down. Here's Waller again. Nice, a, nice, nice hole, cut. 30, 25. Go. Waller inside the 20 and goes out of bounds. Back, back up, Waller. Back up. Back and up, uh, got back tangled up. up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. With Need that. Jackson State's Ponder. Derek Ponder started the year quarterback for Jackson State. So the Braves have it in the red zone. Cedric Tillman, first down at the 16. Hey, that's what we want to see. Waller breaking it open, Charles. And uh, that's a nice run. And let's see if we can keep it moving. All right, so P.J. Simmons in the ball game. Well, Braves in the red zone at the 16. 3-3 three, three game. Noah Johnson. Here's Simmons. Simmons with a nice hole inside yeah. the 10. Simmons to the 8-yard line. Gain of 8. Second down and a couple. 
We haven't had a touchdown in this game yet, but the Braves are threatening that here on second down. Here's Simmons again. Simmons scores! <laughs> so the Braves get a touchdown running the football. Tavares Johnson's touch catch set it up, Jay Miles. Yes, he did. Set it up, Charles. Simmons finished wow. it off. He finished it off. Yes, indeed. He finished it off. It looks like the Braves went in and saw what, okay, what they're doing. Okay, this is what we have to do. What are we talking about? That's all court football. All right, the Braves are up 9-3. to three. McCullough on for the PAT. It's kind of a two-for-one. Late points into the first half. McCullough's PAT is up, and it's good. It's 10-3. to three. And the Braves with a 10-3 to three lead. Cedric Tillman, that's the way you want to start the third quarter. We need to see, Charles, straight running the football. That's, that's what we've been doing all season. You know, let's make them stop it. You know, and uh, Noah did a great job, but we, we threw threw the ball when we need to. The Tavares Johnson, hey, you know, we just got to keep that ball rolling. That was the big play, I thought, Cedric Tillman, on that drive. Tavares Johnson not utilized that much this season, right, his senior right, season. Right. He's made some big catches to move the sticks, and that kind of set it up. Yeah, it was. yeah I'm also see the, uh, glad to see uh, uh, P.J. Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, score yes, that sir. touchdown. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree run. with you. When was the last time P.J. Simmons had a touchdown? That's right. Oh, when man, was the last time? Probably Louisiana College. Uh, you think? Exactly. I th if I'm not mistaken, uh, said you're right. I'm thinking Louisiana College. Well, it's been that long. Wow. Yeah, it's been long. Yeah. All right, the Braves with a 10 to 3 lead here with three and a half minutes into this third quarter. All right, so the defense got it done. Here's a little coffin corner kick caught at the 18 to the 20 yard line, 25 out to the 30 yard line. So a 12 yard return. And Jackson State will have it first down and 10. All right, let's see if this Braves defense here can pick up where they've left off Jay Miles only holding Jackson State to 84 yards of total offense now this team has the lead and can Cedric Thornton's team continue to bring pressure that's it that's it that's what we need we need now that we need to you know we need to bring pressure um, you know make him uncomfortable in that pocket um, you know, stop the run get him three and out mark it at the 29 so first down and 10 for Jared Hayes and the Tigers Hayes under center, and they go back to the run here. Jackson State just They're running. running this yeah. football with yeah. Brown. Yeah. Brown, the sophomore. I mean, just quarterback Hayes, a senior, is just 744 yards. Brown on the carry. Gain of five, and second and five. Braves, on the Braves up 10 to three with 11 minutes left in this third quarter. I think this quarterback, Hayes, really not comfortable throwing the football. I think that's why they're running it quite a bit. Hayes back to pass. Looks. Lob this one long, deep downfield. This ball is incomplete. Yeah. Kind of a back shoulder throw. Right. Burks with the coverage. So he was, that that, uh, that uh, offensive player, the receiver was pushing off, though. You know, he was, de he was definitely pushing off. Not uh, Jackson State style of football, which yeah. the Braves will take Cedric Tillman. Third down and about five coming up. They took a deep shot on second and five, now third and five. Yeah, you know, I was kind of thinking that too, Charles. I don't think they want to get in third and long, third and passing down because we're bringing pressure. Yeah. And I don't, they, quarterback's going to have to get it out of there real quick. Harper in the backfield. Hayes out of the shotgun. Harper in the backfield. The three-step drop pass caught in the scene. First down, two missed yeah. tackles. Wow. And a first down. Benji <laughs> Parrish, the <laughs> senior from Ellenwood, Georgia. <laughs> Well, Parrish broke a couple of tackles, and here comes Jackson State in Braves territory at the 49-yard line. Well, he got time to throw that football, Jay Miles. He did. He did. He had time. We didn't bring much, a whole lot of pressure that we should have brought on it, but uh, he got. He was able to get rid of it. All right, eye formation on first down. He might run the ball here. Harper, the tailback in the eye on first down. Here's Harper. Harper to the 50, to the 48 of a yard, second down and nine. They're just going to keep you honest. Yeah. Nothing Maybe fancy. Maybe every now and then keep you off balance. Second down. Balance attack last week. Oh, when you look at the yards versus Alabama State, 
that was a real shocker of a score considering what Bama really State was. has done. Yes, it really was. They beat Texas Southern the week before and then not even get a touchdown just right. a safety. Yeah, I, I, that was a shocker to me too, Josh. It was real. Second down and eight for Hayes. On second down, they run it here on second down. Another run by Harper. Harper to the 44. Where it'll bring a third oh, down sure. and four. You wonder, is this four-down territory here? You're in that situation. You can, you're not looking at a long field goal. Braves may have to defend this two more times with 9.20 left in this third quarter. Third down and a long four, close to five needed for the first down. Third down and call it five with 10 on the play clock. Braves with a 10 to three lead with nine minutes left in the third quarter. Hayes with three on the play clock. Two, one, gets it off. A rolling to his left. Hayes looks, looks, look? throws, low oh, pot. First down to the 20-yard line and ridden out of bounds. <sighs> Boy, Hayes, Man. they roll him out. Yep. And it's a first down. Ramel Shoemake, the junior, with the first down. So Cedric Tillman, two big plays. It's kind of like New Mexico State. Remember Cedric Tillman on that one drive with like five third downs and couldn't get off the field. They had to settle for a field goal. Looks kind of like that drive here for Jackson State. Well, we brought pressure from that side, but he rolled out and the defender just got a, kind of got pushed out of the way. And I think that's what helped uh, the quarterback uh, to cut that edge, uh, uh, Charles. Let's see what we do here. I'll probably go back to the run here. And they do and nothing. Nothing. As Harper. I mean, Jackson State He's going to play it honest. I mean, second, first and ten, running it is what they do. They've had some success. So they're going to run it on first down, try to get some yards out of it. This is where it gets tough for Jackson State. Second and 12 as they're behind the chains here. 7.53 left. Looks like they're probably in field goal range right now. You know, you're looking at a, about a 49-yard if they don't pick up another yard. Play clock at 10. Second and 12 for Hayes as he steps back in the shotgun formation. Clock at three. Hayes to try to run the stretch play to Brown to the 30. Lowers his shoulder and he has popped. Well, Brown popped out of bounds around the 25 yard line. Well, a lot of talking going on down there, Cedric Tillman. Third down, Jay Miles. And uh, what do you expect here? Third down as they mark it at the 27. Third down and about six for Jackson State. Sending um, Hayes out again on that slant. Uh, we're going to bring pressure. Uh, he's going to roll out and try to get a pass off because, like you said, uh, they don't want to be in this position. Well, they brought pressure yeah. on the previous yeah. two third downs. Yeah. Play clock at seven. Third down and seven. Yeah. Hayes back to yep. pass. Yep, here you come, man. Yep. Look, get, get, sets get. up sack. There you go. There you go. There you go. Well, the Braves get pressure yeah. that time. See, Shippy. <laughs> yeah, ship, come in there. <laughs> well, nothing that they can do with Shippy yeah. there, Cedric no, no. Tillman. That was great play. We got pressure up the middle, you yeah. know. And that's the pressure your quarterback normally don't get to see as much. Right. You, know. you probably see the guy come from your left or your right, but he right. comes straight up to shoot. Right. You know, he didn't have a chance to look downfield. Well, we got a field goal, well, a punting right. situation that's coming punch, up here. Punch, yeah. Well, from here, you're looking at um, probably a 54-yarder. Right. Instead, Jockerman trying to pin him deep. And with the way the Braves move the football, they want to pin him back here. The snap and the kick, coffin corner kick. Jackson State's all over it. Oh, and it goes into the end zone. We'll take a break here. Six minutes left in the third quarter. 10-3, to three, the Braves with the lead in the ball. We'll be back after this one-minute break on the Alcorn Football Radio Network. Like Woods on the 
Uh, P.J. Simmons for four, second down and six. Braves are up 10 to three on second down. Again, Simmons for the 25, maybe the 26. R.J. Miles, there's a big third down coming up here. Third down and four. This is a big one, Charles. This is a big one. We don't need to go three and out. And what I'm not seeing is I'm not seeing Waller. I mean, I, I may be resting up or something, but... Uh, he, you know, don't get me wrong, Simmons is, uh, I was, uh, that was a good run and scored down there, but I don't see Wallet in. Um, Jackson State's going to take a timeout yeah. on defense. So we'll take a timeout with them. 4.57 left in the third. We'll take a break here. 10 to 3 all corn. We'll be back in one minute. This is Brave Did Football. You know that a is still a vote? Learn more about the power of your vote at wokevote.usa. See your vote, vote representative today to fill out a commit to vote form or to check the status of your registration. Be sure to follow us on social media at all things woke, Mississippi. Stay woke and vote. All right, here we go. Third down coming up. Third down and a long three. Big play in this game here with 457 left in the third. And the Braves are up 10 to 3. Noah Johnson out of the shotgun. Low snap. And here's a big first down run. Waller all the way to the 45. <laughs> hey, Mr. Herbert Charles. I said, I don't see Waller. <laughs> that come Waller. <laughs> First down. <laughs> yep. First down and wow. just a straight handoff. Nothing fancy yeah. there. Straight handoff. And I love it. Straight handoff. Uh, so that keeps the drive alive, obviously. New set of downs on first down. Noah Johnson's pass on the edge. And here's a catch and a nice run here. Game. Pringle. Or there's Pringle. Didn't call his name a whole lot. Pringle in Jackson State Territory at the 48. Second down and two. And here's a catch down the sideline. To the 30, to the 20, and it's going to be a touchdown. <laughs> so that makes it 16 to three. To Anthony down the sideline. Well, we have figured something out. Yes, we have found something out, a weakness somewhere, Charles. Wow. And I do believe moving it fast, moving it fast. That's what we're doing, moving it fast. Braves up 16 to three. A pitch to shutout here in this third quarter. Braves up two scores. Up 16 to three. Snap back, ball down, kick is up, and the kick is good. It's 17 to three. And Cedric Tillman, good job by the offense working that near edge. That's that spark we need, guys. There you go. That's, That's it. That spark. Yes. <laughs> and we got it from a freshman. So sure did a freshman. Wow. Wow. So the Braves are up 17 to 3. We'll take a one minute break. We'll be right back after this. The Braves up two scores playing for the Eastern Division Championship. Back after this timeout. This is Braves football.
Braves up 17 to 3. Here is the kick. Return from the 15 yard line to the 20. 25 out to the 28 yard line. 13 yard return. So a 13 yard return. RJ Mal, Cedric Thorne's defense has a two score cushion. Yes, they do. And we just got to continue to bring the heat. We got to continue, Charles, to bring the heat. We're making him uncomfortable. He's rolling out. He's throwing a little screen and what have you. But, uh, yeah, we just got to continue to bring the heat, get him to go straight out again. Braves win this game. They will be playing here in two weeks against Southern or Grambling. That's will be a 3.30 kickoff. It will be shown on uh, ESPNU. Kind of part of the championship weekend around the country. First down and 10 from the 27-yard line. Hayes, three-step drop. Pass on the edge. Uh, catch to the 25 and a loss of two. That's, good That's a good defensive play there. Yeah. One first defender held him up enough to get him, in, and, of course, the other finished the job. Second down and 12. Jackson State, three and a half minutes left in the third. Do they remain patient? Do they take a chance? I would remain patient. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, uh, you know. On second down, Hayes back to pass, looking left all the way, and the square out, and this is a catch down the sideline to the 35-yard line. Short of the first down, third down and two coming up. So third and short. We've had these yardage situations here for Jackson State, Cedric Till, and they picked up the first down. Let's see if they keep it on the ground or they do something with it in the I think they probably feel like there's a lot of time left in this game. Yeah. I think they're going to probably run it here. Yeah. no rush. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. No rush. I formation. Third down and two for Hayes. On third down. Running here on third down, and it's a first down. Yep. Well, just straight up man on man, mano on yep. mano, and it's a first down run for Jackson State's Jordan Johnson. So the drive continues with 2:29 left. Anthony and Simmons with touchdowns in this quarter to crack open a 3-3 game, and it's 17 to three. Alcorn with the lead with 2:18 and counting left in this third quarter. First down. For the Tigers. Braves look like they were offside. They got back. Hayes looks throw. Square out low. Incomplete. Going to bring up second down. They try to get it to Shoemaker. Two minutes left in this third quarter. I think if the Braves get another touchdown, I think they'll be in good shape. They will. They will. But well, we can't. But we don't need to stop them. You know, we get one. Hey, let's get another one. Let's get another one, Charles. And another one. <laughs> Our fans to our left in this north end zone sitting on the hill. Kind of yeah. like the old days. Old days, right. The old days. <laughs> Second down and 10. Hayes out of the shotgun. Hayes. They run the stretch play on second down. Gets the inch 40 and goes out of bounds. At the 43, back to the original line of scrimmage and pick up a couple. So third down, Cedric Tillman at eight coming up with 150 left, third down and eight. Let's see what do here. They picked up the first two. Yeah, they uh, did. Let, but they definitely got to uh, put it in the air this time. I don't expect them to run it this time. Third and eight with 138 left. We got to bring counting. pressure. We've got to bring pressure because, yes, I agree with said He's going to throw it. He has no choice. He's got to throw it. Third down and eight for Jackson State. Yeah. Hayes, pump yeah, fakes, right there, right. looks, dances, get it, get it, being get chased, it, get it. and throws over the middle and uh, out of bounds. Looks like he, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, just threw that one away. Looked he like he was to. throwing it over the middle. <laughs> yeah. Pass intended for Kobe Gates, the junior from Walnut Bring Grove. Pressure. That was what we call Bring pressure. You bring the pressure. He's uncomfortable. He's got to get out of that pocket. He can't throw that, and that's what happened. So. Coach Jordan did a great job right there, getting him off the field. 
All right, so fourth down, another kick for Jockerman. 119 left in the third quarter. Braves win this game. They'll be back here in two weeks against either Southern or Grambling. It'll be a 3.30 kickoff. High a snap. 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 Jockerman brings it down and just gets it off. Kind of a drop kick inside the 10, inside the 5. It's going to come to a stop at the half-yard line. <laughs> so it is. Oh, man, <laughs> that ball almost trickled the goal line. Sure did. So yeah. the Braves will have it at the half-yard line with 108 left. Good kick. Well, here is the game right here. Yeah, it is. Oh, it was just upfield. Oh, it was just well, upfield. Where? Around the 10. Okay. All right. So, it well. Didn't that was huge. I was going to say if it was at the one. One, right. Well, I still say this is the game right here in terms of. I mean, well, you keep on. You keep doing what you're doing. Right. Scott, because you keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you know, I mean, and we that last couple of series was great. We, well, now I'm going to check oh, to see if it was it. touched. Right, right, right. I'd like to get a look at that to see if, in fact, it was touched somewhere upfield. Ball looked like it didn't right. have any kind of uh, interruption on the roll. Let's see right. here. It did. High snap. Jockman did a good job. Kind of a drop yeah. kick. Hit a Jackson State. Oh yes, it did. Yeah, it did. It hit. It looked like it hit a Jackson State player. Or did it hit out of bounds? No, let's check it. Let's see. Let's see if I can see it. Yep. See right there. It hit. It hit a Jackson State player. I like yep. to look at it one more time yep. if it's possible. Yeah. At the end of the quarter, we yeah, it, it looks a, like it hit. Yeah, it hit a Jackson State player. So it was hit. It was touched up field. Let's see. I like to see it again, if if it's possible. Now the ruling on the field was the one, but then they right. moved it up to the ten. Right. All okay. right, let's see here. Go. Here we go. Now watch. It looks like from uh, my what I'm looking at. It looks like number three. Watch him, Charles. Don't watch. Watch. Well, no. that's what he did. It. Yeah. yeah. It was touched. It was touched. It was touched. Number. It hit number three. That's what happened. It hit number three. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the Tigers yeah. thought they had it at the one. The Braves right. have it at the right. one. Three. Yeah, it hit number three. All right, so the Braves, I think, still in a position where with 108 left, 16 minutes left, they can run salt it. this yeah. away yeah. here. Yeah, just run it. Oh, there's ah, a flag coming yeah. out. It's going to be a hold, I yep. believe. Yep. Wrong. Yeah, where it came from, yeah. From the umpire. It's going to be a hold. Got a mark on the play. Yeah, it's going to be a hold. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Number 69. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First down. That backs the Braves up five. Done a nice job with penalties. So far. Yeah. That's just the fourth penalty, J Miles, mm -hmm. on Alcorn. I'm saying so far. They that you know done a, they've done a nice job with it. You know. All right, so a minute left in this third quarter. The Braves second down and long, or first down and long inside their 15 to the 14. First and 20. Play clock at eight. Now he's got to get this snapped here. They do. First down and 20. Got to get the snap. Noah Johnson. And here's Simmons getting it on the right edge and got to the 15, got about a yard. This could take us to the end of the third quarter. They have yet to even restart. Well, now they just started the play clock. Braves don't have to run another play. So this will take us to the end of the third quarter. And the Braves will be one quarter right, man, away yep. from winning their fifth straight contest. Eastern Division title. Well, that'll take us to the end of the third quarter. Braves with a couple of touchdowns. Anthony and P.J. Simmons cracking the end zone. And Braves are up 17-3. to three. That was great then. To see T.J. <laughs> P.J. Uh, you know, score a touchdown. You know? All right, so we'll take a break right here. One minute. 17-3. to three. All four with the lead. Back in a minute, this is Braves football. I know you'd love to see the presents for cash. Well, one lucky participant today will have an opportunity to win fifteen hundred dollars in cash. Let's take to the field, Glendale, and the participants.
Magnolia Bluff Casino Hotel in Natchez, Mississippi. It's all about where you stay and play. You must be 21. Charles County ticketed for $1,500. Almost. Thanks, Magnolia Bluffs Casino and Hotel, and thanks, Charles, for participating. It's hard to go out there in front of some of you all. Thanks to Charles and the Magnolia Bluffs Casino Hotel for sponsoring the Cake for Cash contest. as we will recap this game and of course if the Braves win this game look forward to an off week look at what the Bayou Classic will bring us and the Braves will get the winner of that game in two weeks right here could you have kicked a better uh, probably so okay. Noah Johnson back to pass <laughs> looks throws caught Harris Harris a missed tackle and a first down and oh, a horse and drag yeah, down for horse him down. yeah horse collar <laughs> Yeah, there's a horse collar they dragged him down. Big play. Yep. Yep. Well, that was a big play, Cedric Tillman, to begin this fourth quarter of two scores. Yeah, that was definitely. He just went on a little nice look for a round and uh, take the defender out and went up the field. And you guys was talking about that punt. Yeah. The ball hit the top of the Jackson State that's players' helmet. Correct. That's what I said. It right. The ball right. touched at the team goal line. That's why. Right. That's okay. what the discussion was about. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And the Braves have it at midfield. Braves doing a good job here. And now they're probably a score away from salting this one away, the way it's going right now, early yeah, fourth are. quarter. They're at midfield. Yep. Oh, yeah. they shoot from the end zone. Nope, they no. run it with P.J. Yeah. Simmons. P.J. a gain of two. I tell you what, it's been tough sledding. It's been a – Oh, it has been. The yeah, Braves have definitely. earned everything yeah. that they've gotten yes. here in this game. Yes, they have earned it because it really has been tough sledding. The defense is, just, you know, for Jackson State, been playing a heck of a job game because, you know, they've been, they've been, I mean, dialing up and they taught you going right at those running backs or the quarterbacks. So. But um, let's see what we got here. All right, second down and eight. Braves scan here. The Braves have done a nice job at times when they've had the lead, milking the clock. The Braves have outgained Jackson State 300 to 133. Noah Johnson dancing in the pocket. The flag oh, is down. Yeah. It's going to be a hold. Be Noah hold. goes yep. out of bounds. The tackle wow. out of bounds. Be careful. Yeah, they got to be careful. Very careful. But there's That's a flag all. in the middle of the field. Flag, probably right. a hold here which would be the fifth penalty of the game for Alcorn. If, in fact, this is a hold, it looks like it is. Hold it. Yeah. Offense. Number 62. Ten-yard penalty. Second down. So with that penalty, the Braves penalized five times for 30 yards. Noah Johnson, 12 of 17 for 149 yards. The Braves have rushed for 151 yards, so that's the 300 yards total. Juan Anthony, the leading receiver, 4 for 67. Rodarius Anderson ejected from this game early. That was a little early momentum for Jackson State, but the Braves, I think, have worn JSU down they have. They have. to a great extent. Yep. Second down and 20, and the Braves go to the run here. Waller to the 50. Waller dragged down at the 45. <laughs> That's it. That's pizza. So I'll bring a third down coming up. Third down and five. So third down and five here with two minutes gone by in this fourth quarter. So third and five. Braves with a 17 to 3 lead on third down. Noah Johnson back to pass. Pressured. 
flushed out to the right down the sideline and just pushed out of bounds. He lost yardage, lost a couple. Braves will probably punt here as no one went out of bounds. 12.38 left. Leading the way, Solomon Muhammad with seven tackles. Burks, Whittington, and Brady Smith with four apiece. So 12.28 remaining. And the Braves up 17-3. Low scoring game. Tell you what, the Braves have earned everything they've gotten here today. Exactly. We've had a turnover. We had a player ejected. So it hasn't been a bed of roses. Here's the no pick. Heck. McCullough low end over end. And a fair catch at the 15. Now I'll take us to a timeout. 12 minutes left in the fourth. Tigers and Braves. 17 to 3 Alcorn. Back in one minute. This is Braves football. Did you know that Barrett Health has offers robotic surgery? A surgeon performs a variety of robotic assistance procedures, including hysterectomy, gallbladder, bladder, simple, the complex hernia repairs, and colon. When you need surgery, it can be a stressful and emotional time. At Barrett Health National, we provide comprehensive surgical care, advanced technology, and knowledgeable and experienced surgeons. Our focus is on patient safety, care, and comfort. Barrett Health is National. Quentin Brown. The band from playing when the team is approaching the ball. Quentin Brown, a gain of two. Second down and eight. Here in this fourth quarter. Brazier up 17 to three. Hayes, three-step drop, check down, and this is a catch. Jordan Williams, the senior Man, from Memphis. Third down. So to bring up third down and three. That pass was Williams on the tackle. Third down. So third down and a couple. Time oh. melting away. We approach 11 minutes left here in this fourth quarter. Jackson State and Alcorn for the Eastern Division. The Braves with a 17-3 lead. Third down for Jared Hayes under center. I formation. And third down. And the Braves blow it up. Oh, yeah, they do. They blow it, yeah, they blow it up. Yeah, they blow it up. They blow that one up, y'all. So fourth down yep. coming up as they got to the Quentin carry. Brown, oh, the sophomore. The so fourth down in a yard. And the Tigers will punt here with 10 and a half left. In this fourth quarter. All right, so the Braves 10 and a quarter away from their fifth straight Eastern Division crown. One of the things that athletic director Derek Horn talked about the other night in terms of the future of the SWAC championship game, will it be at a location? He talked about Houston. And um, in order for that to happen, there needs to be a two-year window to make that happen. Here's a low kick. And it's caught uh, Harris at the 35. So for an order for the championship game to return to NRG, you're looking at at least two more years before that happens. If Houston is the one that was easy with the catch, if Houston is the place where it will be. So that means this year, Cedric Tillman, next year, I'm just guessing here, I'm speculating, I don't know this, but I, I'm getting the feeling for the Houston venue that the championship game is going to be on campus at least this year and probably next year, the way the SWAC even worded the release. I don't know that, but it just you, you get the feeling this isn't just a one-time thing. Yeah, well, we just have to go with the situation they hand us. At right, that's it. Yeah. Here's a first down run here, Waller. Yep. 
and uh, Derek Horn talked about it, you know, having, and there was some talk, having the game in Jackson, and even Derek Horn even addressed that situation, that there was no way I was going to happen, and you just see just the big crowd here, and I thought everyone, you know, when you're here early, and you're walking around the stadium, and see how things develop to get this crowd in here, a lot of folks have done a great job. Three man front. Moore Johnson yeah, said, jumped. Where's the penalty? Yeah, because he jumped. He was in there. Fred McNair said, Snap the ball. Nice. They changed the play here with 9.23 remaining. Play clock at four on second down. Noah looks, throws high through the hands of Harris, incomplete. Hot pass. Yeah, hot, bring him yeah, third down. He, had, he had time to throw, but he threw it, he threw it a hot pass on him. All right, so third down, Cedric Tillman. It stops the clock with 9.15 left, third and long. Yeah, well, we definitely got to pick it up here. Yeah, I would like to keep the clock running, yeah. you know, since we do have the lead. Right, so, uh, that's it. Let's see if we can pick it up here. All right, so third down and long for the Braves, third and 11. This fourth quarter two-score game may be the biggest play of the game with 9.15 left. Braves with a 17-3 lead. Noah Johnson back to pass. Can run, go yeah, check yeah, down run. Waller to the 40, upended. Yeah. Well, got something out of it. Yeah, he did, yeah, but he can run. Short yeah, of the first was, down by three down yards. Down fourth and three. With 8.59 left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, no one could have ran on that one. So the check down, and Waller can make yeah. what he could out of it. Right. 8.45 and counting left here in this fourth quarter. The Braves uh, with a 17-3 to lead, eight and a half minutes away from their fifth straight division title. McCullough at his 30, the snap and the kick. Great kick by McCullough. He's going to check up into the end zone. So we'll take a time out here. Jackson will have it at the 20 with 8.24 left in the fourth quarter. Bray 17, Jackson State 3. We'll be back in one minute. This is Bray's Football. The Braves get a pick six for a touchdown as Hayes scrambled to his left Ill and his right. Ill-advised. Ill-advised. Throw it away. <laughs> Ill-advised, Charles. Throw it away. Ill-advised. Wow. Well, Hayes tried to go a square out and just tried. I don't know if he tried to throw it away or what. Well, he, I, you know, I mean, he was, I, I'm thinking he was trying to throw it away, but he Threw it right to the right to our defender. Wilson with yep. the interception, the pick six. And how many times have we seen that Cedric Tillman this season? And he had Whittleton in his face, and he tried to get rid of that football, guys. Yeah, yeah. He didn't see the defender coming. He just saw his uh, receiver. He tried to get it yeah. to him, and it was just a great recovery. Wow. So the Braves with a 24-3 lead with 8-11 left, and now the Braves are in good shape. Yeah. For number five. We'll take a break here. Wilson with a pick six for the touchdown. How many times have we seen that? The Southern yeah. game. Yeah. Cole. Yep. You had a couple here. Right here, yeah. The Braves yep. with a 24 to 3 lead on Jackson yeah. State. We'll take a one minute break. We'll be right back. This yep. is Braves football.
All right, 24 to 3, our score. Return to the 30 yard line. That's where Jackson State will get it. Well, that's we have a, a quarterback that uh, Cedric Tillman, he was just trying to throw it. I don't know if he's trying to throw it away, a long square out. But Wilson was right there, and he had nothing but green grass in front of him. Yeah, that was a great pick and great awareness. And, you know, he had the quarterback had the pocket. You know, right. he just stood right. in the pocket too long, you know. Whittington came up field from the outside, and he worked his way back, and he almost had a sack. But uh, he definitely had to get rid of that football quick. All right, well, Jay Miles, now the Braves have enough points. He's now just trying to keep Jackson State off the board, yeah. milk this yeah. clock. And milk the clock, yeah, that's it. That's what it's all about now, Charles, is milk and keep them off the board and milk the clock. Yep. All right, Hayes back to pass, check down low, and this is a catch to the 30-yard line going out of bounds is Williams. If you go to Fred McNair's office, he's got a round table that has the last four division title trophies sitting there. He's got a little space for what looks like will be the fifth in a row. I went and looked back. Um, this was last year, I believe. Alabama and the SEC in their division, I think they won six division titles in a row. There's another check down. Wins with the catch again. Hit immediately. So what the Braves are doing, and we don't know how long this format is going to last. There are some people that believe that they should do away with East-West, play everybody like it used to be in the old days, and just let the best team out of the regular season come out, play in the Celebration Bowl, no championship game. I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, you have a new commissioner, Dr. Charles McClellan. I think based on my interview with him that we had a few weeks back, doesn't look like there's any energy for that. I think it's more trying to find a home for it. Right. That's it. And really, that's what it is. Third down and a couple, and the Braves stuff it here to the 40-yard line. Down. Well, like looks he like gave, he got the progress got uh -huh. for the first that's down. First down. Yeah, they gave it to him. That's yep. Harper. So I, we'll I, go ahead, Chuck. I was just saying, we'll see yeah, going yeah. forward how that how yeah, that'll all yeah. work out. I kind of agree with you on that one, too. You know, uh, it's not, you know. Uh, the way they got it set up now, it's going to be this way. Play action for Hayes. Going to lob this one long and deep on the post. Caught inside the 20, down to the 16. That's Ollie. Carl Ollie, the sophomore from Jackson. So first down at the 17-yard line. And with 626 left, clock running here. Well, usually they would stop the clock, spot the chains, and start the clock, but the clock's moving, 6.14 left in the fourth quarter. All right, so the Tigers trying to make it somewhat interesting here, 24-3 to yeah. Alcorn with six minutes left. And here's Hayes with the keeper. Hayes fumbled. Fumbled. He fumbled. Yep, and Braves got it. Braves, Braves got, got it. it. Yeah, he fumbled. Yeah, he come up. They hit him. <laughs> he boy, gave it up. Boy, Hayes got popped. <laughs> yes, indeed. He got popped. He turned it loose. <laughs> Woo. Boy, Hayes trying to make something yep. happen here. And, um, That's not the play. Yep. But when you look at the, see, looking at the replay of it, Hayes kept it. Oh, yeah. Come out. Yeah, well, yeah. Yep. He just lowered his shoulder. Right. Well, they're going to look at it, y'all. Quinterio Cole. Yeah, they're going to look at it. Knocked it loose. Yep. From here, it looks like a fumble. It do. Right here. Yes, from here, it does. Well, Cedric Tillman, yep. looking at the replay, it looked like the ball came loose. Yeah, I think it came loose yep. because at the initial contact, it looked like he lost the ball. Right. Everybody was scrambling for That's it. it. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was loose. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll confirm it. And I'm sure it is confirmed. They're rooting on the field for the fumble. Yep. And recovered by Alcorn. There you go. It's confirmed. First yep. down. We hit. Yep, we come loose. All right, so with 5.53 left, well, Jackson State, you look at the defense, pick six, and they cause a fumble. So the offense got us going in the third, Jerome. Now right. the defense is taking over in the fourth. They have, Charles. They've taken over in the fourth. So it's like you said, it's milk the clock. What you got to do, nothing fancy, just take care of business. All right, so the Braves just trying to 
Milk the clock here is Waller with an eight-yard gain. Yep, just milk the clock. Yep. 24 to 3. Well, the fans are going to stick around and enjoy this. Oh, yeah. This last 537. Well, it was a 3-3 game at one point. P.J. Simmons, Anthony with a couple of touchdowns, and then the defense, a pick six. And then they just caused a fumble by quarterback Hayes. Second down and a couple, 5-18 left. Play clock at six. Some of the fans starting to head for the exits. On second down, Waller again with the first down. All right, so Waller at the 30-yard line, a first down with 4.58 remaining in this fourth quarter. Bray's five minutes away from their fifth straight division championship. And the road to the SWAC runs through here. I'm in Mississippi. <laughs> we'll see how that Bayou Classic turns out. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. And there's Waller again. Waller falling forward to the 40. Close to another first down. Well, they give him a nine-yard gain. Wonder, you know, we look at that Bayou Classic. Southern's playing really well. Better than any team in the league. Um, but Grambling, they're the two-time defending champs. And the old adage, don't count out the champs until it's over. No, you don't. That's you, right. You cannot count right. Grambling you out. Because if you notice what they've done. They've managed to win games that they should have lost. So, you know, they're going to be ready. They're going to be ready. I'm sure whomever the Braves play would love to have another crack at all corn, whether it's Southern right. who went down and ruined their homecoming. <laughs> right. Here's Waller again, picks up the first down. Or if it's Grambling, well, we remember we were down right. 13 to nothing. We're right. up 26-13. Grambling <laughs> tied it up. Right. So first down at the 41-yard line. Well, the other thing is the Braves will get some rest, too. I yeah, mean, they will. Yeah. So this will be yeah. kind of another bye week coming up. Right. After 10 straight weeks, the right. coaches have left That's the building. Yes, they have. Oh. So the assistant coaches upstairs, Coach Booz, <laughs> the uh, equipment yeah. manager. They've left the building. <laughs> I, I think they want to celebrate with their yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this this team's been through a lot. And even in this game, losing with Darius Anthony, right. you would have thought a lot of air would come out of the balloons. But right. Not the case. Nope. P.J. Simmons with the carry. Wow, well, Ced the carry. well, Cedric Tillman, um, it was it good to see P.J. Simmons get in the they end zone. The it's good to they see P.J. Simmons get in the end zone. It's been a first time in a while, so I know that's something sweet for him playing in his final regular season home game. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. He picked up about four or five on that carry there, Charles. Yeah, I'm glad to see him back out there. I talked to him before the game, and he was, he was feeling excited, and, 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 you know, he was very positive about this football game. But, you know, he said he was ready to play, so uh, I think he proved it today. And, but Waller as well, you know, I just love both of these guys. Yep. Here he goes. Yeah, up here is TJ on the jet sweep down to the 45. Another first down. So uh, post game, let's get P.J. Simmons. Of course, Fred McNair, some of the seniors playing their final regular season game. So, P.J. Simmons, we talked to Noah Johnson in the pregame, and obviously uh, head coach Fred McNair on the postgame show. Under two minutes left. I'm sure the Gatorade bucket's coming somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they got it. They finna look like they finna go get it. Yep. Like they finna get it. Well, let's get the ball of you but what I was going to say, Charles, before the play, and I'll say it uh, after this play here. And here's Foreman. That's a name we haven't carried. Sure haven't. Right. Had Marquee. called in a while. But what I was saying about, you know, when you lose a receiver that, like you of uh, Anderson. And, but the thing of it is, the Braves knew that they had to take care of business. You know, you have to step up. The next man got to step up. Then they go in and they have to play as a team. And what started is that we got that late score. We got the late score and to come back in the second half and we got the ball in the second half. We saw what we needed to do. They made the adjustments. 
And I feel that Jackson State didn't quite make the adjustments on defense with those scores that we got. So, I think at the end of the day, too, the better team won. Yeah, it is. Right. I mean, the, the Braves team? just have right. a lot of, of weapons. Course. Here's Foreman again. Yep. Foreman just trying to put the icing on the cake. I mean, it took it took a pick six to kind right. of give the Braves a distance, but right. the Braves earned everything they got here yeah. in this game, and yeah. I think they're getting the Gatorade bucket ready to go. It should be. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> it's coming. They're getting it ready. Yeah, they're getting it ready, y'all. <laughs> the final 30 seconds, Fred McNair looking at his play card. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. not a – well, the Braves do have to run another play. Right. We really appreciate you calling. Ten seconds left on the play clock. They got it, And he got, got Fred McNair with the Gatorade bath. They even got the Highway Patrol guy. They sure did. They Ten seconds it. left. The Braves do not have, have to, to run, run another, another play. play. That's it. That's it. And the Braves have won their fifth straight wow. Eastern wow. Division title. The wow. Braves have won their fifth. Fifth straight <laughs> Eastern Division title with a big wow. win, 24-3 to over wow. Jackson State. What about it and how about it? The Braves get it done yet again. Wow, Charles, yes, they do. They got it done again. Wow. A hype to build up for this game. The Braves yeah, yeah, coming yeah. off the bye week. And uh, there will be a presentation coming up. Cedric Tillman will check in with you and how about it as the Braves get it done <laughs> winning their fifth straight Eastern Division title. Man, it, it, I just love it for these guys, man, because you see all the excitement these guys have on the sideline and the passion, all the work that they've put in, you know, it, it, this is just, it's great to see these guys and I'm, I'm glad for them, you know. Yeah. Fifth straight, Charles, and, you know, it just shows you <laughs> this program is back, you know. It is. It, these guys have been working hard these last couple of years, and, and I'm just glad to see them out here working yeah. hard and proving that they could be champions. Yeah. All right, so now they get the uh, – I think they're going to get the all-corn ode. We're going to talk with P.J. Simmons on the post game. He's right behind you. Well, he was behind you, Cedric. <laughs> All right, hold on. Or right, we'll go to the presentation. Okay. <laughs> we got Cedric running all over the place. <laughs> yep, running all over the place. Turning around. And, <laughs> yeah. They, they got the stage set up, so we're, we're so, trying to we're trying to time right. it. We're trying to time it here. 